Perhaps if I say aromid fibers, nothing comes to your mind, but if I say caviar, something pops up. If you grew up like me among comics and cartoons, you will surely link caviar to Batman's bulletproof vest or Robocop's armor. Not Iron Man's armor, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Kevlar, you have to wait for that. But what is Kevlar, and most importantly, what are aramid fibers? Let's see that together. Hey guys, I'm Alberto, an amateur style technician that lives and works in Italy. Today we're going to talk about aramid fibers. First of all, Kevlar, Nomex, Tuaron are all copyrights of DuPont or other companies. These special fibers are all aramid fibers. According to the European Regulation of Textile Fibers, this is the description of aramid fibers. Since we are not chemists, but we are baboons that work in textiles, let's simplify this. Aramid fibers are aromatic polyamides or aromatic nylon. In chemistry, you will find aliphatic and aromatic polyamides. Depends on the number of benzenes that you have. Aliphatic polyamides are weak. Aromatic polyamides are strong. Aramid fibers are strong polyamides. They are practically a nylon with superpowers. In chemistry, you will also find ortho, meta and para, which indicate the positions of the molecules in the benzene ring. Kevlar and Tuaron are para-aramid fibers. Nomex is a meta-aramid fiber. They all share a lot of features, but Kevlar is stronger. Aramid fibers, when created, are yellow and they are very, very hard to dye. You can dye just meta aramid fibers and just with dispersed dye stuffs, the ones that you use for polyester dyeing, or cationic dye stuffs. And the results are not so good, since the dyeing affinity is not so great. Only light shades can be obtained. Para aramid fibers are, on the other hand, just solution dyed. Kevlar was invented in the 60s by the chemist Stefanik Volek, who was working for DuPont at that time. She instantly realized that the polymer had fantastic features such as resistance to abrasion and organic solvents, very high melting point, more than 500 degrees, low flammability, it's non-conductive and it has high tenacity. With these features, it's not hard to imagine the applications of this fiber. Military equipment such as helmets, bulletproof vests, cords, ropes, components for automotive such as tires, brake pods, firefighter equipment, sport such as paragliding, shoes. You have to consider that asbestos was used until we discovered it was carcinogenic. Aramid fibers, on the other hand, are a good replacement for fire-resistant products. That's it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video. You will find my details below along with my email, Reddit, and so on. I remain at disposal if you need any textile consultancy. So yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.